for you. Gary Fester for me. Gary Fester 13. Barbados. Yeah. 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 The almost 2,000 delegates to Barbados to begin a cultural campaign par excellence. Gary Fester 13. We watched, we danced, we laughed, and may even have cried. Whatever the response, as Minister with Responsibility for Culture in Barbados, I wish to thank our Caribbean family and Barbadians from all walks of life for your support of Carifesta 13. Mainly due to Tropical Storm Harvey, we did not have a perfect start. However, we pulled together as a team and I can state here this evening that Carifesta 13 was a resounding success. Responsible for this success are the many countries which responded to the invitation and sent delegations in their numbers to participate in all aspects of the festival. The artists and artisans came prepared to share their various offerings with each other and the wider Barbadian community. We were able to move from a successful execution of Propova into a successful execution of Carifesta. And from next week, we move into CPL cricket, all earning valuable foreign exchange for Barbados. And very soon, we will be the home for the regional office of FIFA. I am pleased to report that the critical objectives of the festival were indeed met. From discussions held with ministers who were present and directors of culture, we were able as policymakers to recognize the ongoing importance of the cultural industries to the development of national economies and the enrichment of our cultural capital. We were also able to promote the sustainability and the competitiveness of the region's creative industries and talent as significant forces in the modern economy. We were able to showcase the diversity of the region's cultural industries by offering a rich and diverse program of cultural presentations of the highest standard from a cross-section of the region's artists and artisans. We were able to encourage appreciation for the value of cultural goods, services, and activities as carriers of meaning and identity and inspire innovation and development in the arts by providing a platform for both established and emerging Caribbean artists to show their work. I want on behalf of, of all the governments of our region to congratulate all of our artists and cultural workers who were involved in Carifesta 13. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for standing tall in the furtherance of the culture of our Caribbean. In this regard, we were able to attract 25 buyers who focus on all areas of the festival. However, special attention was paid by these international buyers to the area of Gourmet. In the case of Barbados, there were factory visits and orders were placed. Fashion also received much attention and Guyana was among the countries that stood out in that area. Let's hear it for Guyana. In Osmoda of Colombia was present at the Grand Market and that company is willing to work on the development of a program in the fashion area with designers. Orders from buyers were placed for books and some of the region's musical artists, among them G Syndicate of Barbados, got the nod from these buyers who were interested in musical talent. Visual arts stood big in the market and discussions have commenced with individual artists already. From Barbados's perspective, the legacy of Carifesta 13 
will be rich. We have been able to restore Queen's Park House, including the famous Daphne Joseph Hackett Theatre. We have been able to refurbish the gymnasium, thanks to the People's Republic of China, and we have been able to upgrade several of our schools as performance spaces, including Comba Mayor and Foundation. It should be noted that Barbados was able to meet all of the technical requirements for Carifesta 13. This is as a result of the legacy of Carifesta 4, which was held in Barbados in 1981. The seas sown in technical theater have certainly borne fruit now as they have provided the platform on which Barbados' expertise was built to give us the, the, the self-sufficiency we need to stage Guy Festa 13 in 2017. I wish to thank all of the sound companies, the lighting companies, and the stage crews who worked throughout the festival. I especially wish to thank the core technical team, which included the leading technical experts in Barbados. This group met every week to ensure that programming needs for all delegations would be satisfied, as were the needs for the major program showcases. We saw the transformation of Bay Street into a most popular hub for Carifesta, and we witnessed the transformation of the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center into a bubbling Grand Market and Barrier Shopping Mall. We saw in the Grand Market where coming Caribbean style, cooking Caribbean style was done each day and night. The use of the highest quality systems of waste disposal, all in keeping with our Green Carifesta campaign. Carifesta 13 has also shown us that the cultural industries can play a significant role in national development. There is still some work to be done in various areas which were points of discussion between buyers and exhibitors. The areas of weaknesses were highlighted and recommendations as to how to deal with these challenges have been discussed. I wish to thank the many exhibitors who populated the Grand Market and Buyer Shopping Mall for their positive feedback. I wish to thank the delegations for your country night presentations and other presentations around Barbados. Yes, let's hear it for them, applaud them. We are aware that on Saturday and Monday, audiences were below expectations, but this all changed from Tuesday as program changes stabilized and Barbadians and visitors alike came out to ensure that the island enjoyed the cultural spectacle that Carifesta 13 provided through the staging of over 500 presentations in 27 venues across the lengths and breadth of Barbados. I wish to thank the CARICOM Secretariat for its guidance and advice over the weeks and months of planning. The Festival Secretariat, led by the Festival Director, Mrs. Andrew Wells, I want to thank you for your hard work. I also wish to say thank you to the transportation team, the liaison officers, law enforcement, led by the Royal Barbados Police Force, and the 400 volunteers who work beyond the call of duty. You did not let Barbados down. The Barbados Defense Force and the emergency services also played their role, as did the Immigration and Customs. Thank you all very much. To the sponsors who came on board to assist with the financing of Carifesta 13, whether in cash or in kind, your generosity is greatly appreciated. Your input certainly made a difference to the successful execution of Carifesta 13. I also wish to thank the National Culture Foundation for its dedicated support in assisting with the execution of Carifesta 13. 
and a big thank you to the young people of our region for a highly successful youth village and highlight youth concerts. Let's hear it for the young people of the Caribbean. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you applaud all those involved who contributed in any way to the success of Carifesta 13 in Barbados. In all of this, we suffered a loss in the merriment, which must be referenced. And on behalf of the government and people of Barbados, and the entire Carifesta family, I wish to extend deepest sympathies to the family and friends of Miss Pitel Frank, an independent exhibitor from Guyana, who unfortunately died in Barbados on Friday. Our condolences are also extended to the Guyana delegation, and I wish to commend the Guyana delegation for your immense courage to continue your participation in Carifesta 13 in spite of your loss. So after 10 days of cultural feasting, it is now my task to declare Carifesta 13 in Barbados closed and to pass the baton on to Trinidad and Tobago, the next host of Carifesta 14. I thank you all. God bless. Carifesta.